Hi, let's have some fun. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm having a savvy. You know why? Because five videos have been recorded today. This is my last one. It's not even a candid with cat. You know what I'm saying? It's not even a candid with cat. But that's that's neither here nor there. This is an interesting one because it's a. Uh, I asked you guys on Instagram uh, that I want to give a real talk response to the biggest socially trending topics currently. What would you like to hear my opinion on? And I I I got I got I got I got a couple of things. And I just want to have my drink and relax because I know after this I'm gonna switch this camera off and I'm gonna relax for the rest of the day. And tomorrow's Women's Day. Hey, as I record this. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Um. So. The reason why is because I don't typically talk a lot on trending topics online. I don't talk about what's trending. I don't talk about, oh, you know, I, I never really give my opinion so outwardly on social media about what is trending in the time, in the current time. But I was just like, well, why not? You know, catch me outside. You know, it'd be like that sometimes. Why not? Let's just, let's just, you know. Who knows? Maybe if you guys enjoy it, we'll do another, um, what you ma call it. You know what I'm saying? And then, Rubam Jandola. Then it can be a series. It can be a thing on the channel. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with stuff for this channel. So, the first one says Azul. Now, as far as I know, Azul is a tequila. <laughs> Alcohol is no. I don't know what you want me to say about Azul. Uh, Azul, as far as I know, me, I'm not these young people that maybe probably have come up with a new word for something and now call it Azul. But as far as I'm concerned, Azul is a very expensive brand of tequila, okay? And it's delicious. It's delicious. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Um, men cheating on their wives and both parties, man and mistress, making it look okay. Who? 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 You spicy. You spicy. Ah. Listen to me. Um, men cheating on their wives is nothing new. Um, doing it outwardly and boldly when you know that you have a wife is not okay. I can tell you that for free. I don't ever, I will never be okay with that. I'll never be okay with it. However, each to their motherfucking own, bro. <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's just, it's just. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean. It's disrespectful to the party that has been hurt. You know, it's disrespectful to the party that has been hurt. But even though we don't know what the situation is, even though, but if that person is married, it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful to, to, to their partner. Like, Let people live their lives. What we're not going to do is police people's lives here. And I'm not going to do that today. I'm not going to start today. Because even me, I did a whole entire story time of the fact that I didn't even know he was a married gent. Okay, and then I found out that he was married and I was with him for such a long time that I was just like, what? What? And I felt shitty about it because I was just like, this is not me. This is not what I do. This is not what it is. This is not what I'm about. Um, I feel like there must be, people are entitled to live their lives the way they want to live their lives and move forward. And, and if something hasn't worked out, move forward. And um, when you don't know the intricate details of where those people at, are at in their lives or whatever, then it's none of your business. Let people live their lives. Um, but otherwise, each to their own. Hey, let people live their lives. I'm just tired. Hey, let people live their lives, man. What? Oh, openness and friendships. A uh, friend leaving the country and seeing what? One second, Tony. What's going on? What's cooking oil? Okay. Openness and friendships. Friend leaving the country and you see snaps on IG, yet you didn't know. 
Yo. Yo, okay. How close are you? If it's someone that you are close to, that would hurt. Yeah, I would, I would be, I mean, it's a trip. Why, why not tell me that you're going on a trip and now I'm starting to see things on um, IG and I'm starting to see snaps and all of that, but me and you are close. I'd be hurt by it. But is it something that would um, damage the friendship or make me cut you off? No, but I will speak my truth and say that I'm I'm hurt about this. Why didn't you tell me you were leaving the country, bro? That's weird, bro. Why are you being weird, bro? I mean, catch me outside. Why are you being weird? But is it something that would cause a disintegration of the friendship? Not really. Not really. People must, you know what? People must live their lives. And here's the thing about friendships. Friendships are sketchy because sometimes you feel entitled to your friend's life and you are not. Your friend can be able to go out with other people, do things other than this, what, 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 or not even tell you that they're going on a trip. It's fine. Will it hurt you? Yes. But you, you, you can't. We need to lose this thing that we feel entitlement over people's lives. It goes to the thing about uh, 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 my thoughts on a marriage, a married man and whatever, whatever. What, who am I to feel entitled over someone's life? Add lame to the list. Add whack to the list. Do I have an opinion on it? Yes. But I think as a society, we've become so entitled to the lives of the people around us, whether we follow them online or they're our friends, like in this instance, that why, why, you know, uh, would it hurt? Yes, but it wouldn't be something that would disintegrate us. I, I, I don't think so. Um, you, you can be as open as you want in uh, friendships, but at the same time, there should be stuff that if you want to keep it to yourself, you should keep it to yourself without feeling like uh, you're doing an injustice to your friend. If there's certain things you don't want to talk about, you don't talk about them. Tata Savannah. No. Um, marriage dynamics. Do you think some spouses are okay with their spouses having side chicks or side dudes? I'm not married, so I don't feel like it's appropriate for me to answer this question. Um, I don't think anyone will ever really be okay with your spouse having a side chick or a side dude. I don't think as the, the main person, as the spouse, you will be happy. I, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. You know what I'm saying? Some people come out and say, Hey, Nyati, it is a little bit. Can't forget the fuck out of here, bro. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't think as a spouse, but I, I haven't been married yet. But if I was... No, 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 my phone is going off. Dating married men. Me <sighs> ah, I'm just tired. <laughs> Again, each to their own. You want to date a married man? Date a married man. You don't want to date a married man? Don't date a married man. But... I'm not one to do that. I wouldn't condone it. I wouldn't condone it if my sister did it. I would tell her that I'm not, I'm not cool with that. I'm not cool with that. You know how I feel about that. You know how I feel about that. But it's your life. Do you? Do you? Do you? But you need to know what's going to come with living that kind of life. You need to know what's going to come with being with somebody who's married. Each to their own. Let people live their lives. But can you have an opinion on it? Yes. And my opinion on it is... I'm not for it. I'm not down with it. I don't understand why you must. You know, maybe it's because I have a thing about fate, you know, and karma. Yup. And I feel, I, I have a fear that if I do that to someone, it's going to come back and bite me in the ass one day. And I don't know how it's going to bite me in the ass. It could bite me in the ass regarding my work or regarding my personal life or regarding this i don't know but i just don't want to tempt fate i'm not somebody who wants to tempt karma like that so i just i just feel like if i wouldn't want it done to me i ain't trying to do it to somebody else <laughs>
what I must do. I really ain't. I really, really, really ain't. So I'm not for the notion of dating married men, but at the same time, or women or whatever, but at the same time, let people live their fucking lives without feeling like you have some sort of entitlement and opinion on, on their lives. This is what I have noticed is happening a lot on social spaces. People feel like they have an opinion on people's lives and that their opinion is right. Enough of that. Enough. Let people live, my boy. <laughs> Let people live, man. Catch me outside, please, man. Please. How? Oh. Cancel culture. Does it even work? Only certain people can be cancelled, not consistent as SA. Listen, I don't, I don't, I'm not a cancel culture person. I feel like people change, uh, people go through things, people can change. Um, I don't feel like because of something that someone said 15 years ago, we should now cancel this person because that's not okay. Meanwhile, that person was 15 at the time that they said that and they were conditioned to, 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 to speaking that way from how they were raised or whatever. Now we're going to cancel them? No. No. Um, I don't even believe, I don't believe in cancel culture like, like, like Oscar P Pigistorsak. Oscar Pigistorsak, I don't appreciate that guy for what he did. I don't whatever. Do we cancel him? Why are we canceling? What's going on? Yeah, I understand. Do we now stop people from now trying to fix or move forward with their lives? Like, for instance, the biggest thing for me is the Katakoma boy situation. Uh, no, 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 no. He went back onto Espresso a few days ago. And I was happy that he was actually back on Espresso. I feel like that is great. The reason being is that a video of him in his private moment in his home with his wife that was taken by his wife and then disseminated onto the internet was leaked of him, his private life, his private affairs. What should this have to do with social media? But because the brands that work with him uh, this and this was so pressurized by social media and the people like, no, cancel cat, cancel cat, cancel cat. Many people do sordid, sordid things in their personal private lives, but don't get canceled publicly. They do sordid things. And why is it fair to cancel this person and then not cancel that one? That's why I just don't believe in the theory of, of the whole concept of cancel culture. I really feel like it's, it's hogwash, it's BS. Because why are we canceling this one and then not canceling that one? I don't like cancel culture. I feel like it's unfair and sometimes, a lot of the time, it ruins someone so much that trying to get back up and get to the position that they were before is impossible, near to none. You know, it's, it's difficult if not impossible, that's what I mean. It's difficult if not impossible. So I do not subscribe to cancel culture. I don't know, no, no. I was, you can catch me outside, you can say whatever you wanna say. I was happy that Kat was back on Expresso. I can tell you that for free. I can tell you that for free. The wife dogged him. She didn't need to put that stuff up and, and, and publicize that kind of stuff. This was a private moment that was happening in their home and she decided to dog on him and ruined him. Ruined him. Just ruined him in the process. Not cool. Nah. Nah, bro. Ask me nah. anything and then becoming rude when anything is asked. Influencers do this. <laughs> Here's the thing about ask me anything videos, right? We say, ask me anything, yes. And I don't have a problem with being asked anything, yes. I do draw the line, however, when you are being rude or you're really asking me to speak on something that you yourself 
wouldn't publicly speak about on a public platform. So for me, I just don't understand it. If you're going to ask me, or have I cheated? I can tell you, yes, I have. Oh, what happened? Oh, this, this, this. Oh, this, this, this. Have you ever beaten the... Have you ever had a threesome? No, I haven't. Or whatever. Like, yes, you can ask, but have some sense of decorum in what you're asking and note that that person is also a person who also would like to keep certain things to themselves. So be appropriate in what you ask. Yes, you can ask sex time questions and this and this and have you ever been arrested and this and this and this and this. But then there's questions that really border on being as close to asking somebody what their ID number is. <sighs> I'm just tired. Like at this point, why do you need to know if I am with a, a, a sugar dairy or if I am with... Why? Of what business is it? Why? What's going on? What's cooking oil? There, I, I just, you know, we've heard that you're with a sugar daddy. Is it true? <sighs> Come on, bro. Like sometimes have some sort of decorum with what you ask. I mean, ask me anything because I'm saying nothing is off the board. Go ahead. Ask me anything. It's fine. But have some sense of decorum. Damn. How? Now you're going to ask me if I've been rimmed before or whatever. Do you really think I'm going to say if I've been rimmed or not? <laughs> Uh, skin lightning. Hmm. Skin lightning. Each to their own. I really don't have any issues with people who decide to do skin lightening. So what? It's their lives, it's their bodies. Rest, 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 rest. I don't have a problem with it. Um, it's now become a multi billion dollar industry. Skin lightening products, skin lightening creams, technologies, lasers, what, 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 hey, amen, each to their own. Like I say, each to their own. It is what it is. But what's the problem if people want to lighten? If somebody is going to feel better about themselves and their body and their whatever, it, if they feel like if they were lighter, they would feel better about themselves and their lives, lighten your skin. That's all I'm going to say, sis. If, you, if, if, if it's going to do something for your confidence and your self-esteem and you're in a position where you can afford to do it, eh, do it. And then, what is the problem? Uh -uh. Uh, SK calls that situation, oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. What a mess. <laughs> SK, hey, SK, guys, look, I don't know. I feel like that was a private moment. You know, the, <laughs> it was a private moment. How it got leaked, did he leak it? I don't know, bro, I don't know. People record themselves having sex all the time. Is he on OnlyFans? I don't know, bro, I don't know. Was he doing it to join OnlyFans? Was he doing it for the attention? Was he doing, I don't know. But when I think about all the other situations with SK Koza, I really do feel like he gets, he has moments where he becomes unhinged. And I, I just, it's like more than anything, I feel bad for him. I'm like, SK King, like, what can we do to help you? What is going on? Why this? Which, which one? You know? So I just, I feel like he gets unhinged sometimes and it would be great, you know, just, just to talk to somebody. You know, consult a psychologist, a therapist, or something, SK. But uh, that, that, this, uh, it happened in a private moment. Whether he leaked it, the girl leaked it, somebody who got it leaked, ah, uh, hey amen. It'd be like that sometimes, eh? People record themselves having sex all the time. All the time. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. SK, SK, hey? Hey, <laughs> what do you think about the new BBL trend that is taking SA from by storm? Okay, nothing. I don't think anything about it. I think, again, it's like cosmetic surgery. Okay, you want to reduce your breasts? 
because you feel like you, you don't, you can't stand having big breasts? Sure. You want to get a BBL? Sure. You can afford it? Sure. You want to get a breast job? Sure. Whatever. If it means that you are going to feel good about yourself and this is something that you've been insecure about for your life, for your whole entire life, amen. Amen. Do it. You want to change your teeth? Do it. You want to, you want to, you want to shave your hair off and you want to keep, I don't care. Like, I, I really just feel like people like to make an, a, 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 um, a thing over much about to do about nothing. Like you like to make, excuse me, Savannah, you like to make mountains out of molehills, literally over nothing. And I'm just asking myself what it, it it's not necessary. Why are you doing that? Let people, if it comes at the cost of that person has felt so insecure about that for their whole lives and whatever, and they're doing it to boost their confidence and self-esteem, amen, let people live. Let people live. You see, it's that, it's that sense of entitlement for me. I just, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. The next one is that women have become comfortable with being single and made peace with the fact that true love no longer exists. Hey, boy. <sighs> this is all I got. Why are we making peace with the fact that true love no longer exists? Wait. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't think that's even a thing, bro. Like, I honestly, I believe in true love. And I believe that true love really does exist. So, I don't know how I feel about this. And is that actually something that's trending right now? That uh, women are comfortable with being single? I feel like, yes. In this society, there are women who are just, women have just taken to loving themselves and not feeling the need or the pressure by society or family or whatever to be in a relationship just to meet a societal standard or a norm or cultural norm or standard or whatever. I do believe that women are more comfortable in their skin and they're loving on themselves and being single. But I do not believe that women are believing that true love no longer exists um i'm not part of that school of thought yeah i can't no no catch me catch me outside uh naledi trending on twitter <laughs> p.s i'm an ultimate fave naledi trended on twitter and uh wonderful I'm not gonna talk about that here. I'm not gonna give it life. Now, lady, the unfortunate thing is that when she trends on Twitter, she trends for having made the decisions that she made with either friendships or people in the moment. And people automatically assume that uh, Naledi is the problem because she's the common denominator. Whereas a lot of the time, the situation was Naledi chose to walk away from hectic situations. So she's been deemed or um, um, she's been shown on social media as a bully and an aggressor and all these things, whereas the reality of it is, yes, a lot of the time people with bold and strong personalities who are loud are one, not gotten or understood by anybody, and two, you have to be able to stand up for yourself or fight for yourself if somebody's talking nonsense about you and all of that. Um, and three, unfortunately, a lot of the time people don't know the full story of how something happens and it's often not looked at when people have been aggressive towards her so that's just is a mess is a mess um but yeah i'm not i'm not gonna give it any life to be honest i'm not gonna give it any life because i have been called an enabler of my sister's bad behavior um just because i choose not to reprimand or help make her take accountability publicly and because I choose to speak to her privately. So, so because I choose to support her publicly, I'm seen as an enabler and okay. Please talk about side chicks and marriages in general. Dating you is also dating young, much younger girls. Oh, Asana. How does he know? Even he the band, even my, even your 
What is with y'all and side chicks and marriages? Hmm? Mm, guys, he got the guy so Guys, the guy so King, 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 king. Is this something that's happening a lot? I mean, I don't know about side chicks and marriages in general. I'm not in a marriage. I've never had to deal with a side chick in a marriage. Um, but side chicks and side pieces in terms of men or sexually fluid people or all of that, side pieces are not a new phenomenon. They are not uncommon. It's always happened for years and years, even in our parents' times. And even in, why is it been given so much life today? I don't know. It's crazy the things that trend on, on Twitter. For me personally, it's crazy the things that trend on Twitter because amen, it's not necessary for this thing to be trending. Basically, this is where I'm at with the whole thing, right? It's not necessary for this thing to be trending. There are other most serious things that can be trending, but people are so bothered about who's sleeping with who and who's seeing who and this and that and the other. Ah, I suppose entertainment will always be entertainment at the end of the day. But, um, I mean, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Give it a rest already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before to rest, 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 before to rest. Um, I know you talked about this on the Twitter TL, but the whole are you YouTubed in with Naledi? Uh, I did. I talked about it on my Twitter TL. I talked about it on my Instagram. I have made a video about it that's going up on my membership space. I'm not going to give it any more life. I feel like my sister was done dirty, dirty, proper, 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 and was hung out to dry by people that she thought were friends. And, um, yeah, it was all covered by, oh, well, it's a reality series, whatever, whatever. Okay, cool. Add lame to the list. Add whack to the list. One, one that was edited in such a way. Okay, okay, okay. Um, a married man can't be snatched, he makes the choice. Absolutely. As well as a married woman can't be snatched, she makes the choice. Or somebody who's in a relationship can't be snatched, they make the choice. So it doesn't necessarily, we're not going to sit here and say, oh, I cheated, it was an accident, it was a mistake. No, it wasn't. You are well within your facets to know what you are doing. It's not it. Hi. 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 It's not it, my darling. And you are well within your facets to know. So it's a complete choice. Whether you want to cheat on somebody or have a side piece or whatever, it's all a choice. So we're not going to sit here and act like it is. Um, Dubai trips, the dark side of it. <laughs> Getting the money anyhow or having some morals. Look, bro. Hey. What the hell are we going to do now? Yeah, that pooty party party poop pot. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, pooty pop up pooty party poop, whatever. Yes, we've all seen, read, heard, watched stories, video story times of people who've gone to Dubai and what happens in Dubai for the girlies to be shaking their booties there on the Dubai yachts and things and being paid. Uh, thousands of dollars, thousands and thousands of US dollars to put themselves in compromising positions for the sake of entertaining um, Arab hotshots uh, in Dubai. Look. <sighs> sometimes a lot of the time, sometimes the people who put themselves in that position are in a desperate need for money. A lot of the time they just want to have money so they can floss about taking trips to Dubai and buying expensive bags and purses and this and this and this. Um, amen. How you see yourself or how you rate yourself um, or how, you know, yeah, how you rate yourself is how you rate yourself. If you feel like you wouldn't mind doing that so that you can score yourself a couple of thousand, amen. It is what it is. It's your life. Um, live your best life. But yeah, somebody pooping in my face or pooping on my 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 my, my face or in my mouth or or peeing on me and all that's just you. One second, Tony. What's going on? What's cooking oil? <laughs> you can catch me 
outside several times over before I have to nkampane. Like, honestly, guys, I would rather beg on the street than do that or submit or subject myself to that. But then again, like I said, Harul Bato, Harul Bato, Harul I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to call it a day. I have been it, it just, it's just working for like four hours now. I'm really tired. So I'm going to call it a day and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, please comment, like, subscribe, join the family, join the membership space, um, repost, reshare, retweet all of my videos, all that stuff. I would love it if you did that for me. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, we're on the road to 30,000, baby. Bye.